Hey, what's up, guys? Kane here with XPLA Fans. I'm going to be giving you a quick taste of Thimbleweed Park, a point-and-click adventure game uh, from uh, legendary game designer Ron Gilbert. Now, it's going to be very reminiscent of something like Monkey Island, but in a very good way, in my opinion. So, we have a review up on the website for this. Definitely suggest checking that out. It will be linked in the description. When you boot up the game, there's casual mode and hard mode. Casual mode is designed for someone who wants to kind of just experience the story. Whereas hard mode is, you know, for someone who's played a point-and-click adventure game before. And it doesn't mind the fact that they may occasionally get stumped. So you'll be able to interact with different characters and different objects. When you click an object, you're going to have then an action verb. And when you use that action verb, that action's going to happen. So, you know, you can pick up different objects. You can use different objects on other objects. Obviously, you have your own little inventory space. You're going to play as different characters, and each character has their own unique inventory space. So there's a lot of different things going on. Now, this is the story of a town called Thimbleweed Park. And in Thimbleweed Park, a dead body is the least of your problems. There's a lot of things going on. And you're going to switch between five different playable characters to uncover the surreal secrets of this strange town. Now, it's a modern mystery adventure game from the creators of Monkey Island and Maniac Mansion. And the deeper you go into this area, the weirder it's going to get. I can just tell you now, in the first 20 minutes or so that I've played, it gets really, really weird. And this game was kickstarted in 2014. And as someone who did not kickstart it, I'm just going to say thank you to the guys who did. Because I'm very pleased with what I've played so far. And from reading our review on XBLAfans.com, I definitely can't wait to play the rest of this game. So as you can see, the population just dropped from 81 to 80. And now we got a dead body. Now I'm going to skip the first segment of this game because it plays largely as a tutorial. And I don't really think that's going to be the most interesting thing to see. So this is Agent Ray and Agent Reyes, and both of them have their own kind of thing going on, and there's a little bit of tension here, and we're trying to figure out why these guys seem to care more about things outside of the dead body. So there's a lot of weird stuff going on, it seems to be very connected. And I'm really curious to see exactly what's happening. So we've got this dead body and it's just kind of pixelating under a bridge. And that kind of gives you a clue at the humor in this game. There's going to be a lot of kind of fourth wall breaking, a lot of joke game developer talk, you know, like making fun of things that are typical for games like this. These two characters are both pretty interesting so far. I'm Though, uh, I know in our review, Nate marked down that occasionally the dialogue the felt a little little forced pixelated. because it's written so well, but the delivery... The it's a little hard sometimes to deliver some of the craziness that Ron Gilbert writes. So, as we play through this game, you can play as both of these characters at any given time. You can just switch it by holding a single button, and that's pretty cool. So, like, right now I'm going to play as Aiden and Ray, and I'm going to just kind of try to figure out what's going on. So we're going to walk, you know, we're going to look at the corpse. Appears to be a male. She's going to kind of give notes. Uh, as things like happen, you're able to look at the notebook hours. for each you of these characters, which seems to have a lot of information in it and a lot of different things given. So, okay, it kind of gives like There's her motivations, kind of what she's kind of looking at and a little bit confused card. about. Possibly a key and then as well as that, it's taking notes on everything she's discovering. So that's pretty cool in my opinion. So like right here, you can kind of see what she's just discovered, and then you can see why she's kind of here. And she's definitely a little concerned why Junior Agent Reyes is even here. So it definitely seems like there's a good bit of push and pull and kind of curious to see what goes on here. Now there's a few other characters, uh, like the Ghost Franklin, there's Ransom the Beeping Clown, there's an inspiring game developer named Dolores. Uh, those are all ones I saw on the Thimbleweed Park website. I haven't Detective played far enough Angela in the game Ray, to actually meet those agent. characters yet. It's my badge. So these are the two that I've played as, as well as obviously the kind of tutorial segment. And so far the puzzles are pretty understandable, which is really it's nice. It's always nice to Definitely see a game that has weapon. stuff Long that just kind of makes logical ball. sense. And that was one thing I noticed in our review of the game is that Nate mentioned that all the puzzles actually seem to make sense, which is really great. Because they're not necessarily easy, but at the same time, there's at least a logical foundation in why something happens the way it does. And that's always awesome. So obviously, you can click 
and you're going to use this mouse pointer to just click wherever you need to go. One of the cool things about this game is it actually has one of the most intuitive uh, kind of cursor games that's been on Xbox One. And what I mean by that is they've added in a lot of different things to kind of make the cursor even easier for players. And we highlighted all of that in our that review, and that's something that's really cool to me, entrance. is that they've kind of innovated in an area that you don't necessarily expect, and that's here, always nice to see. Wall. Like, it's really great to see something like this kind of push this forward, and that's just super cool to me. So, like I was saying, though, like... Hmm. They've basically made it to here. where dialogue options and command mark. verbs can the be selected using the directional pad, to the as well as when you highlight the object, blood, it's so going to tell you the verb that you're most likely to use on it. And while that's not camera, always the answer no to any it. given puzzle you may be doing, it's going to help you kind of make it a little bit easier, and it's going to feel like you're not playing a game on the wrong platform in a sense. Because point-and-click adventure games have always felt super natural on a mouse, a it's little awkward on joysticks. Underbrush. And the the nice Gosh, thing is, like, the left stick chainsaw. moves at normal speed, the right stick me. moves at kind of like a Fool precision twice. speed. So there's just a lot of cool different things that go on in this game. And they've really kind of optimized things to work well on console. And that's super cool it's to see. Rusty and totally now, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. Just because I want to show you guys a little bit more of the like no weirdness that is in this game. And it's just super cool to me. Now, one of the nice things about this game is while it is a pretty big town and world in a sense, it does start off in a pretty small area and then kind of spiral out to make it a little more like natural tonight. and a little less difficult to kind of figure out where you need to Why be you like a and pigeon? these are the pigeon the brothers pigeon brother plumbers, plumbers. I'm Beth. and Beth this will give you a good perspective Hi of there. like kind of but what remember, the humor is like in this game are very strong like tonight. it's definitely a little weird Why definitely a little strange and it definitely Why gets a little bit son. kind of inside when baseball at a Amber point and i don't know like for me that connects it may not for you, but one of the cool Seems things about this game is it's tonight. very reminiscent of games I remember playing as a kid, like Monkey Island and what some of the signals? other kind of crazy games. Signals one thing I really do like tonight. is that they even make it pretty clear that like yes, game design has improved what to signals? the point that there's no longer, you know, all these bad, you know, backtracking night. segments that create, you know, just kind of a dead end and like stuff like that's kind of evolved over time in point and click adventure games. And you're actually going to talk about that with these two pigeon brothers and it just gets super strange because it's like that's just something you're not expecting to see in a game. I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very and, like, that's just what I mean. Like, the, the game good. is just... It's got to keep digging in on this. And that's just super cool to me. And it just kind of, like, digs at it. And the city true. gets a little interesting. And I don't want to spoil too much of this game. I really wanted to keep this about as spoiler-free as I could. So if you guys have any questions about the game, feel free to ask in the comments. I'm more than happy to that answer anything like I can. Please do design. like and subscribe, and please do it share this video. It really helps us out a lot. If you like this type of content, really please do like it. It really end. helps us know what's resonating with our audience. And if we see a you bunch of likes on something, we're more likely to do that more content like that. So Sorry thank you guys so much for checking like this out. This is Thimbleweed Park. Tonight. And it is out now on Xbox One you know for $19.99. Definitely check it out. And our review will be in the description. Uh, later, guys. It's in the cadet training manual.